Hello and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Shay P. I'm your new homegirl, you just don't know it yet. <laughs> and if you're returning, welcome back. Today is August the 13th. It is Sunday. Happy Sunday. Mm, 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 mm. It is 1224. Uh, pardon all of the trash bags back there that's actually the leftover clothes that we had some of the leftover clothes that we had from um the outreach event slash school supply giveaway that we had at our church a couple weeks ago i think two weeks ago at this point um and we are on site at a uh, nearby gas station right across the street from an apartment complex hoping to set up husband is inside of the store talking to the manager just to get approval for us to set up um so that way we can give Give away the clothes the rest of the clothes that we have left I don't know if you guys saw that but that was our church van that was passing I'm trying to see where they're going <laughs> it's quite a few of us out here oh okay y'all may or may not okay y'all can kind of see it those are our chairs from the church we're going to use those to sit in and then of course that is the church van uh, so we're just trying to get all set up so that we can service the community and help anybody that may be in need. I believe we also have some water as well. No food this time, unfortunately, but Lord willing, the next event that we have, um, we will be able to provide food. But hopefully, uh, even though we don't have food, we can still be a blessing in giving these clothes and shoes that we do have for men, women, and children. Um, what else, what else, what else? I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend thus far. Leave me some comments down below letting me know how you're doing and what you've been up to i would love to know i'm gonna go ahead and go uh help everyone set up tap in with husband see if he needs anything from me so i'll pick you guys up in a my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge i will also hey. reject thee say hey to blog seeing thou has Good morning, fam. It is Monday, August the 14th. Happy Monday. It is 7.52. I am making my way to work. Don't worry about my arm. <laughs> okay, my purse, the little uh, accessory, the bow on my made-in bag keeps rattling and I feel like if I put my hand on top of it, it's going to stop, even though I kind of still hear it, but it is what it is. So that's why I have my hand kind of resting on my bag, because I'm at the point to where I almost want to throw the whole bag out the window with my laptop in it, because the rattling is just getting on my nerves so bad. But anywho, how was you guys this weekend? Leave me some comments down below. Um, I had a really, really good weekend, you guys. Uh, the outreach event was good. I ended up seeing mom um, and Asia yesterday. They came by the house, which was the first time that I had seen my mom since before her birthday. So maybe about two, two and a half weeks uh, had went by since I seen both of them. So it was really, really good to see them and just kind of hang out. Uh, Zay came home early uh, with dinner for us and was able to see his grandmother. And that might sound like something regular, but because of Isaiah's schedule, um, and the way that he works and, uh, you know, kind of hangs out and stuff like that. Whenever my mom comes, he's never there. Like, he's usually always at work whenever she comes. Um, and then by the time he gets off, she's already on her side of town. But she came over a little bit later yesterday, so she was able to see him um, when he got off of work. So it was good to witness that moment and it made her really really happy to see her grandson and it made my sister really happy to see her nephew even though they're more like brother and sister and like the way they communicate versus aunt and uncle because i mean aunt and nephew because they're so close in age always have been more like brother and sister and i love that for them like they're they love each other they get on each other nerves but they love each other but anyway that's just that on that uh this week at work it is going to be very very quiet uh tomorrow is going to be a little bit busier because i do have to submit some reports on my manager's behalf but aside from that 
Uh, today is probably going to be very quiet. Just to give you guys a little bit of an update. If you didn't see the previous vlog, I'll go ahead and put the thumbnail on the screen. Um, and for those of you who have, thank you so very kindly. But if you didn't see the previous vlog, uh, my systems uh, got corrupted, long story short, uh, last week when I restarted my computer last Thursday to be exact. And my computer is still not uh functioning for me to be able to work so i'm actually going into work not knowing whether or not i'll actually be able to work friday was like a free day uh for me for the most part because i couldn't work that's just all i'm gonna say about that there's other things to be said about it other updates that i gave you guys throughout the day but i'm not gonna bore the folks that did watch that vlog just be sure to check it out once you're done with this one if you like um, today is the 14th so let me give you an update on husband's car um yes he is still in the santa fe if you've been sleep on your girl for a little minute and you like what your boo is riding on a santa fe i thought he had a sonata check out the vlog on the screen both uh vlogs that i just showed you guys will be linked down below in the description box feel free to check those out if you have not already but he is still in the santa fe uh unfortunately uh, we were told last week that his car would be ready this past Friday. Uh, but when husband called on Thursday to confirm everything, make sure that uh, his car would indeed be finished and ready for a pickup, he was told that they never received the part. The part that they need to fix his car is still on back order. Um, and at this point, they don't know when his car will be ready right so um we're grateful and thankful for the um free rental or extended loaner if you will because it's not necessarily a rental it's, it's a loaner because it came directly from the dealership uh but it is a gas guzzler husband is like i'm at this gas station way too much putting gas in his car like it's just sucking it up and husband does work a, a quite a bit a ways away from the house uh his commute is longer than mine and uh he's really feeling it every time he has to go to the gas uh pump so he asked them since they're having to keep his car longer than expected if they were to get another extended loaner available uh something like a sonata maybe an elantra uh or a tucson because tucson's are pretty good on gas i used to drive a tucson if you're not new here you already know that um so yeah but he was like can y'all get me about this car since y'all have no idea when i'm gonna get my car back and literally they have no idea at this point uh so that's just an update on husband's car um i am really loving the tan that i got from being outside yesterday it was sweltering y'all it was over 100 while we were outside at the um event but baby i'd do it every day if i could that type of work i would do that type of work every day y'all know i like being outside anyway but then you throw a charitable act on top of that it's a good excuse for me to be outside and we really enjoyed ourselves we went out there with 20 bags of clothes and we came back with seven so the rest of the uh bags of clothing that we have are going to go to like a goodwill salvation army uh, sort of organization and the only reason why I say sort of organization because I'm not sure which one we use <sighs> excuse me y'all but it'll go to one of those and then uh, next year as we plan and prep for our next annual clothing drive we will begin taking new donations and that's how we keep everything you know fresh and so on and so forth is you know we ask for the donations yearly um and a lot of you guys uh were in my comment section while i was doing the school supply giveaway as well as the clothing uh giveaway asking for ways to donate to the cause and first and foremost thank you I thank you and praise the Lord for uh, putting it on you guys' heart to even consider donating and helping to the cause or helping toward the cause. I really appreciate it. You guys don't have to. Um, and I 
certainly hope that I don't come across as though I'm asking for anything. Um, I'm merely just showing you guys what I do. I, me and my family, Bay, Lizzie, uh, we are heavily involved in the church. That's just who we are, thank God. And so I'm just merely showing y'all, you know, how we get down in the community and things of that nature. But thank you guys um, for uh, your willingness to want to donate and participate. In terms of like school supplies, giveaways, anything like that, our church actually foots the bill for that. The Israel of God um, as a whole uh, does pay for those things so the members don't come out of pocket. Now for clothes uh, donations, we do accept the gently used clothing, so on and so forth. Um, my P.O. box is always in my description box down below um and you don't necessarily have to wait until um the clothing drive again it is annual usually around the same time every year uh but if you want to send me a box of your gently used clothing just put a note in the box and say hey jen um i would like you to include this in the clothing drive giveaway or if you are just so inclined and want to provide um school supplies and things of that nature for next year's event send it over to me again include a note in the box this is for um the the um school supply drive and i'll be sure to uh number one accept it i'll send it over to uh my church i'll bring it to my church and i'll also be sure to shout you guys out and let you know that I received your package um, and show you where your donations are going to. But I do want to give out the disclaimer, you don't have to. <laughs> Our church foots the bill and we get the clothing from the congregation members. All of us go through our closet, we get out all of the gently used items, so on and so forth. And that's how we accumulate so many clothing. So feel free to assist. I'm speaking specifically to those of you who have already uh, reached out to me in the comment section, section asking how you can help or have privately messaged me asking how you can help. Uh, but if it is not on your spirit to do so, I am not asking, <laughs> number one, okay? And you do not have to number two so moving right along um i did take out some ground chicken uh for dinner tonight you guys those lettuce wraps were such a huge hit they were a huge hit with bay and zay they were a huge hit with casey and ashley not hello my beautiful family it is 1 33 your girl is on lunch and ooh. <laughs> <sighs> y'all the struggle is real but i already called it i called it before i got to work and said that it was gonna be real dry it's it's giving it's giving real dry vibes but um i'm finding um other ways to be productive i did bring my little calendar here pretty much this is where i store my entire existence concerning my household so like bills i write everything down keep everything organized for the family so on and so forth appointments anything that any of us need to do within the house goes here and i often refer to this book like multiple times a week because without it i would forget what i have to do with my life outside of going to work filming for youtube and editing like that's it and it's so much more to my life i'm sure y'all already know <laughs> than just those three things so i brought this book intentionally because there was some um bills that needed to be paid so i just went ahead and paid those wrote the confirmation number down um just kind of took a look ahead at the month of september because literally august is just like flying by i need to schedule some uh doctors and dentist appointment for all three of us which is another reason why i bought the calendar so i had this today um what else have i done since i've been at work i mean obviously i worked a little bit had some uh meetings they did it did end up getting me back to a hundred percent functionality at work so i can now am now capable of working like i'm supposed to because baby i tell you what i was already contemplating and plotting what i was going to ask my manager how i was going to ask my manager if they were not able to get me up and running i surely was going to ask to go home because it, it don't make no sense 
sense for me to be up here if I can't even work. Uh, but they ended up getting my computer system back to where it needed to be. So when I make it home, um, I'm going to log into my remote setup at my kitchen table just to make sure that everything is on the up and up there. That way, um, if there's anything missing or that I don't have access to, I can address it tomorrow before Wednesday because we know Wednesday I am working from home. Um, I do have my T-Mobile Tuesday bag, even though I did not show you guys while I was on uh, my way to work. Um, let's see. I did already eat my um, noodles. I just bought some chicken noodles, top, top ramen, top ramen, have you want to pronounce it i also have this bag of southern sweet barbecue southern heat sweet child y'all know the vibes y'all have seen it on my channel uh, many a times before i have that i think i'm i'm not bringing this whole bag into my um back into my office so i'm definitely taking a couple things out to throw in my uh tote bag so that way i can take it when i go to work i'm gonna go ahead and take my probiotics so while i'm on lunch and then in the event i get hungry i am going to is this wet i think this is wet why is it wet oh is that my surely is golly and this is good chlorophyll too honey we can't be wasting this mm -mm. let me get a napkin i gotta take this back into work with me Oh, and it stains too, y'all. Let me put it in my cup holder. I don't really care too much about that because it's black. Uh, but I do want to get this off of my hand. But anywho, uh, so I already ate my lunch. Before I discovered this mess, I was trying to decide uh, what oatmeal I wanted to bring into the office just in case I uh, get hungry and want a snack. I'm going to just pop this apples and cinnamon uh, oatmeal in my bag it is 2 18 which means that it is almost time for me to head back to work i have successfully sorry to have my bag in y'all's face i have successfully completed just about um my next unboxing and review video featuring husband it is for some jordans um i'll be sure to put the thumbnail to that video on the screen now so that you guys can be sure to check it out if you have not already and for those of you who have already thank you thank you thank you so i'm super excited about that that i was able to get that done on my break and i'm gonna go ahead and post it uh shortly after i get home I just need to add a little bit of music, pop in um, some picture in picture screens of, uh, you know, just some information about the company, and then I'll post it. I have quite a few items coming in that I'm expecting uh, to arrive today. I'm sorry, not today, <laughs> Lord. Not today, not all at once. I take that back. That I expect to arrive this week um so i'm kind of in like the mode of getting uh off of all of the content that i need to post in terms of like reviewing products uh so i just dropped another mate in unboxing well really it was just more so a review because i took the product out the box out of the box so i'll be sure to put that on the screen as well did i do anything else i just did those chunky donkeys so i'll put that on the screen too um and then i'll give you guys like a few days break and then i'll probably film uh some more unboxing and review videos on wednesday and friday of this week lord willing and it, then it also just depends on when i actually get the products in uh but if i do get them in sometime this week i'll film those videos at the latest on friday so i feel really good about my productivity on lunch at this current moment it's 2 20 and i'm stalling going back to work because it's boring y'all it is so boring my co-worker was like because uh, it's only two of us today Typ typically it's about three of us where i sit but it's only two of us today and my co-worker was like it's really really quiet in here today and i was like yeah i know and before she before i said it which i wasn't gonna say it i was thinking it though she said but i like it that way and i was like child who you telling baby look if <laughs> 
I used to work in a corner by myself, by myself. And I literally was living my best life every single day because when I'm at work, I'm just in work mode. I don't want to talk. Well, no, we're not friends. No, we're not going to be friends. Like this is work. I keep my work and my personal life separate. We don't do that on this side of town. Good afternoon, you guys. It is 5.33. We are off of work. <sighs> Stuck in traffic, headed home, but we are happy to be off of work. Um, I need to call and check in on Isaiah to see if he wants to go to the gym later on this evening so that I can prepare my mind for the gym uh, because <laughs> the last time we went, in the evening time, evening as in like 8, 8.30. It was freaking buku people up in there. I was like, why y'all ain't at home sleep? Or at least preparing to go to sleep. Why y'all all up in here? So if he wants to go, I'm gonna have to prepare my mind for the idea of a bunch of people in there. Cause I really do want to work out. I think it's been a couple of days since I worked out. Um, I was thinking about dinner because I forgot I don't have my wallet. Um, but yeah, no, we're going home. We don't have no money. We don't have a driver's license. We don't have nothing. We out here just naked in these streets. We don't have nothing at all. But for whatever reason, I do have a taste for a hot dog, like an all beef thick hot dog. I, me and my family don't eat hot dogs like that. I cannot tell you when the last time I made a hot dog, like, you know, like made it for dinner. Um, it's just something about the texture of the smaller beef hot dogs and the way that they cook. Uh, because for many years, I grew up on boiling boiling my hot dogs. Uh, but because I've matured and I'm a grown up, I broil my hot dogs. But some of the textures of the all beef hot dogs, even when you broil them, I, I don't really like it and prefer the texture of a sausage over a hot dog. I don't know, that might be weird. Uh, but for some reason, I just really would love a thick sausage, all beef sausage, or a thick um, all beef hot dog with some chili. And that's another thing, us. We don't really like the chili. We used to eat Wolf Brand chili, but even, um, we used to eat Wolf Brand chili, but we found out that it has pork byproduct in it. Um, so then the only other options for us would be like Hormel or the um, turkey version of the Wolf brand chili. And none of them really seem to taste right in because y'all, we haven't had hot dogs in a minute. Every now and again, I'll get a Sonic hot dog. I don't mind theirs. Theirs tastes good. And they do have an all beef option. The small Coney is all beef. That extra long joint got pork in it just in the event you were wondering so we don't eat those but the short ones are all beef um but yeah y'all i kind of <laughs> really want a hot dog but hell it don't even matter at this point do it we don't got no money we don't got no money August the 15th. Happy Tuesday. Mm, 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 mm. Sorry, I'm trying to finally get myself together. I had my hair up in these clips so that my edges can set um, and my wet curls because I did refresh the bottom of my hair was out of my face. But good morning. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your Tuesday. Um, I've just kind of been on my commute watching um, YouTube, trying to get through this traffic because baby traffic has been traffic king and the people have been peopling very ignorantly in this here traffic. I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's been a while morning thus far, but I'm almost to work. So to God be the glory. Y'all would be so proud of me. I had an opportunity to stop at Burger King and was this close to doing it because I really wanted some breakfast, but I didn't. And I was even closer to going to uh, Papa's Barbecue to get, <laughs> y'all know, a delicious beef brisket breakfast taco. Ooh, that just sounds good, okay? It just sounds freaking delicious, but I didn't. 
because I don't have my uh, T-Mobile Tuesday bag, which means we have to go out for lunch today. And I'm trying to be, you know, that's putting my body into subjection thing that we talked about, right? So I, I decided I'm only do one meal out today instead of two. Um, I'll probably go to Chick-fil-A today is kind of what I think I'm going to be feeling later on. I've had uh, those dipping tacos from Taco Bell, which are fantastic, by the way. Highly, highly <laughs> recommend those. They're freaking delicious. Um, I've heard people say it's the best thing on Taco Bell's menu, and I actually agree, uh, but I'm kind of sick of it. I've had it two times uh, back to back, and I'm definitely not eating that. So I think Chick-fil-A sounds appropriate. It's been a hot little minute since I've had them. So I'll pick you guys up when I go to lunch. I do have a Celsius here while I was at the gas station filling up. I got two Celsius. So this one is the watermelon flavor. And then I also have the Fiji apple pear as you guys saw. Let's crack this open. Cheers. Mm. Cheers to a wonderful, fabulous Tuesday. Cheers to the FedEx lady that pretty much knows me by, by name at this point that calls me when FedEx is ghetto and holds my packages. <laughs> Shout out to her. She always makes sure I get my doggone packages right on time. So appreciate you, sis. I hope y'all have a fantastic Tuesday and I'll see y'all. Twelve count nuggets, please. Can I have a Anna Palmer? Can you make that large, please? The meal large. The whole meal, or just a drink. The whole meal, please. Anything else? Yes. Can I have two chicken strips a la carte? Okay. And that'll be all. Okay. Here is my food have my fries we were definitely munching on those on the way here I have my two strips a la carte and my nuggets I feel like my hair is in the way let me see if I can find my clip so I can clip my hair back if not I'm just gonna make oh here we go right here bow Oh, child, because I'm about to get up into this food. Y'all have no idea. I wanted breakfast and had self-control from two places that I know for a fact was going to come through with the bomb breakfast. And I didn't eat it. So, I'm going to really thoroughly enjoy my lunch today. It's my little chicken nugget. And I used some of the honey roasted barbecue. Mm-hmm. So good and well worth it. Y'all, I am worn down, exhausted, and I ain't do nothing but eat. And I ate all that food, and I am not ashamed. <laughs> I do not have any leftovers to show y'all today. Um, the noise y'all hear is my Celsius wrapped in his bag. Let me sanitize again. Um, okay, so I ate my lunch. I forgot to tell y'all earlier when I picked y'all up while on lunch that I did place an order uh, for groceries at HEB. I didn't get very many things. I just got some hot dogs. Remember I was talking to y'all about those um, yesterday. So I picked up some hot dogs and I'm going to be trying HEB's brand of chili. I really just don't have the energy to try to figure out how to make it on my own. I am sure that it is very easy, but I just don't want to do it. So uh, I picked up some chili. Not sure if I'm going to have that. I'm currently looking for my um, chapstick. That's why y'all see me looking away. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have hot dogs and either chips or um, tater tots or if we're going to have spaghetti because I did pick up some ground turkey and spaghetti sauce for 
some spaghetti and I also picked up H-E-B's brand of Alfredo sauce because I wanted to uh, add Alfredo sauce, excuse me y'all, this time around in my spaghetti, but I didn't want to make my own, see the trend here that I have going on. And I also did not want to use the Prego. I think that's what it's called that I typically use. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go with it, Prego. Didn't wanna use Prego. So I saw that H-E-B makes their own in a little container. And so far, pretty much everything that I've had that H-E-B has had a hand in creating, I've enjoyed. So um, I'm not sure if we're gonna cook that tonight. I would like to get a nice workout in. I have not worked out at all since last Friday. Today is Tuesday, so what's that? Saturday. I mean, do we want to count Sunday's festivities as a workout? I mean, I wasn't doing nothing but standing outside sweating. We ain't gonna count it. Uh, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Today would be the fourth day if I don't do a workout, but I promise you we're going to do a workout today. Me and Isaiah <clears throat> are still trying to figure out a routine between each other and honestly at this point y'all i am this close like literally the space between the tip of both of my fingers i am that close to just getting my own membership and going by myself reason being is because you know me and zay have two different types of schedules when i'm ready to go uh, I know he's exhausted and he's tired and I don't feel comfortable waking him up. And when he wants to go, sometimes I'm tired. So he just goes by himself. And I just feel like I can go in now that I'm comfortable with the gym, comfortable with the equipment. I can go in, you know, during times when I just want to bust out a quick workout, you know, 20, 30 minutes by myself and then dip out. So I'm real, real close because if you forgot, I go with Isaiah because it's like a buddy pass type of situation. I actually don't have a membership with the gym. Zay does. And I just go with him <clears throat> as like a plus one or a companion. Good afternoon, fam. It is 542 and you already know the vibes. We are all off of work we're in a bit of traffic and we're making our way to where are we going first heb because i do have an order that i place um the pickup time was between 5 and 5 30 because i wanted to make sure okay that they was waiting on me for this date and not the other way around so hopefully i don't have to wait too long when i get to heb truthfully i could have picked y'all up a long time ago however i have been busy <laughs> responding to comments via voice note because i just found out i was today years old when i realized that i can respond to y'all comments using siri and i don't have to like type up the comment Oop. listen i don't know who i think i am but i feel very fancy kind of old <laughs> and not tech savvy because i never thought to, because i never thought to do that before but it's a couple of y'all that have been pulling up on my comment section real hard catching up on my videos since before vegas and i want to make sure that i respond to everybody y'all know my response game is very very strong but y'all coming through with the i'm talking about the thumbs and the fingers they doing what they need to do and so i'm a little bit behind i'm falling behind i think i'm like two days behind worth of comments and so today i was just kind of you know responding to comments the old-fashioned way because now child since i know a new way the, the old way is old-fashioned that's how they do so anyway um i was responding the old-fashioned way and i saw the little microphone i was like what the little microphone do you know real old with it uh not tech savvy with it so i pressed it and it was like doo -doo -doo, and i have my phone connected to my car so since we've been talking to the car the car been talking to the phone and the phone been talking to y'all so to god be the glory now I ain't doing it the other way. The other way, that's old, baby. Ain't nobody got time. Rip me out of plastic. I'm acting brand new. I'm not responding to y'all no more with my hands. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm about to reserve these for something else. These hands gonna be used for something else. To do my hair, okay? To flick the remote, okay? To edit on my computer. Mm -hmm. I'm, but what it ain't gonna do, what they not gonna do is respond to y'all. We definitely gonna be using Siri. Now, disclaimer. <laughs> if you see a run on sentence, if you see a word misspelled, if you see something that don't quite fit, 
blame Siri, don't blame me. Just saying. <laughs> but anywho, like I said, I'm on my way to uh, HEB. I'm down the street from there to be exact. Uh, once we leave there, I'm gonna go to T-Mobile. Oh, why you may ask? Because I have murdered another doggone screen protector. Let me show y'all this. I saved it. Last time I needed a screen protector, I showed y'all. Let me show y'all this how I disrespected this screen protector. I mean, pardon all of the smudges and stuff because it was in my bag. But y'all look at that. Look, have look at that. Gotten our groceries. I was supposed to pick y'all up as soon as I left them. Uh, know that I was at the the uh curbside area but then i started responding back to comments again because remember i told y'all we're a little bit behind y'all would have laughed at me if y'all could see the time stamp and uh see how fast I walked in that store the short amount of time I stayed in that store and how quick, quickly I walked out I must stop coming to this one like I have I just came to the realization today that this ain't the place for me this is not the place for me now granted I always talk about how this particular T-Mobile always is like a free-for-all bring your family and friends with you uh, for one singular phone purchase or hell some doggone inquiries bring your whole family if you got some questions <laughs> for the team old people and it always be hot and it, and it kind of low-key be stank well it wasn't a bunch of people but it was hot and it was stank but i i just don't i don't understand like why sorry y'all that's my keys i don't understand why this particular location doesn't have like the um what's the word i'm looking for they don't have like a golly the efficiency that i'm looking for like it it seemed like it take them forever to deal with folks that are doing anything other than getting the free stuff from t-mobile whenever t-mobile give free stuff because it's not like they give free stuff every single week right right and uh when they paying a bill if they doing something outside of that it's like they take forever to get to you get it don't be timid when you win it by that love a phone give alone leave it i don't want no drip baby spray like you mean it so fine it's like it baby jump up on this i guess that's why you like it baby come and get this takes a lot to his time it baby give it all die Hey, truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suites on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown. Here are the few items that I picked up from HEB. First things first, I picked up, I thought, two packs of the eight count hot dogs, but I only have one. So hopefully everybody is satisfied with this eight count until I can go back to the store to get another one for tomorrow. I got two bags of the Simply Potato Shredded Hash Brown. They're both the same. This is the Alfredo sauce I was telling you guys about, uh, HEB brand that I'm gonna put in my spaghetti. I have two of the Texas Heritage Beef Hot Dogs with cheddar cheese. I also picked up two packs of the ground turkey, or two rolls rather, of the ground turkey. I decided to step outside of my comfort zone and try this sun-dried tomato turkey. I'll give you guys uh, my review. I'll probably put it on the screen and let you know what I think of it. Hopefully it's good because I do like the taste of sun-dried tomatoes. I also picked up two packs of the Eckridge Turkey Smoked Sausage, two of the HEB -E Texas Style Chili with Dough Beans. This will be for tonight's hot dog dinner. HEB had a sale on Central Market Kombucha, so I got two of the Strawberry Guava. Not that they taste good, but this is the only one that seems to pop up uh, when I'm browsing around and I think to myself, oh, okay, yeah, I could use some kombucha. I don't know what other flavors they have. I believe I saw two other flavors in the store, but these strawberry guavas will do. 
I picked up a few bags of chips just in the event one of the guys wants to have chips with their hot dogs. Bag of dill pickle thin potato chips, HEB brand. Sour cream and onion potato chips, also HEB brand. These jalapeno Doritos, which are pretty good, again, HEB brand. <laughs> and lastly, this party party size of the nacho cheese, HEB brand Doritos. I have four cartons of juice, all Minute Maid. This one is watermelon, strawberry kiwi, peach punch, and strawberry lemonade. Lastly, I picked up three 12 packs. This is the original cola. Y'all know the vibes and know that I love that one. It definitely gives Coca-Cola vibes. One wild red, which is comparable to like a big red if you uh, live in an area where big red is sold and orange burst not comparable to fanta but it'll still do <laughs> and these are the things that i picked up from h &E. what is up y'all it is 8 34 yes your girl did an and eight workout i know it's been a hell of a minute since i did one but i feel really really good that i did i ended up doing about 30 minutes worth of dance routine cardio i feel very proud of myself i did the doja cat uh, work out and I'll be sure to put and eight fitness uh, thumbnail to their channel here on YouTube in the event you're new here and this is your first time seeing me do one of and eight's workouts I absolutely love their routines um, I've been doing them for a very long time uh, they were in my workout routine if you will I would uh, interchange their workouts uh, and then also do my at home gym workouts as well I have a treadmill and an elliptical again in the event you are new here but as of recently uh, most of you know that I started going to the gym uh, but I will still continue to incorporate my at-home gym and a fitness working out outside um, and uh, also doing the gym just so long as I stay active right that's ultimately the goal I'm currently here in my kitchen cooking whipping up these hot dogs i mean if you call that cooking i'm putting it together child we, we gotta warm it up i uh have been kind of having my chili on simmer it smells really really good i told y'all um i will be trying the heb chili for the first time uh, so that's on the stove cooking i'm also boiling my uh texas heritage hot dogs beef hot dogs with cheddar cheese stuffed in them uh for a few minutes actually it's about time that i take them off of the stove and then i'm gonna pop them in the oven on broil because i like the broil taste versus the boil taste if that makes sense then i'm gonna hook husband's plate up because he is ready to eat before i hop in the shower and then once i get out of the shower i'll make my plate and then isaiah will eat whenever he came in while i was working out and i told him that i was cooking hot dogs and he said he wasn't ready to eat just yet i just wanted to tap in with you guys let you know i had a wonderful workout and to let you know what i was doing i will pick you guys up once i am so fresh and so clean what is up fam i am back as promised so fresh so clean and fat full pardon the noise you guys hear in the background i have the dryer going and i was also watching everybody hates chris on youtube yes currently that show has me in a choco but anywho tonight's dinner was really really good everybody seemed to enjoy it and i'll definitely be running back those hot dogs as well as the heb brand chili but i am ready to go to bed now i hope that you guys Guys, enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you stuck with me for this song and this is your first time here don't leave a stranger become a part of the family by hitting that subscribe button and the post notification bell so that you never miss another one of my uploads and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.